I think it's working. <laughs> the landscape does work on iPhones again. It went away for a while, now it's back. Um, good afternoon. Haven't been on Facebook for a while. Excuse me, haven't been on Facebook Live for a while. I did stop my around a thousandth broadcast about three weeks ago. And, of course, I forgot to put do not disturb my phone. Oh, well. It's a matter of practice. <laughs> um, I've been going through some evolution, and yesterday is my birthday. It's why I put the title on the broadcast. Um, but I wanted to talk about a couple of things, and I'm out for a walk today because plans didn't go the way I wanted, which is why it reminded me of this topic. I've been pondering the thought for the last few weeks, actually, since my last Facebook Live, about how life can sometimes throw us a curveball. And in so doing, how do we respond? And part of that's because um, a dear friend of mine, Katie, and I are launching something in 17th of March, Tuesday, uh, St. Patrick's Day, called um, Inspired Heart Mastery, which I'll tell you about later on, maybe if I remember. <laughs> but I want to talk right now, I hope you can hear me okay with the traffic in the background, I'm using the earbuds to try and keep the noise, my voice louder than the traffic that's going by over there. Um, I'm out and about, as I said. And what I want to speak to basically is if life has been giving you some curveballs, and with Mercury in retrograde, and with the way the year started and with everything else going on, you may feel like you've been throwing some curveballs that really suck. I feel you. You know, this is my birthday. I thought I was going to go out and play today. Plans didn't change, so I decided to take myself out. So I'm going to go out for a walk. Um, going, to go visit, going to go to the Mar Vista Art Walk later on and also probably go to dinner with a friend of mine. We'll see what happens. But the thing I want to speak to is more than that. It's about how life shows it, throws us curveballs and how we respond. Now... I've been making a list of things, listing a th- list of ideas, a list of, and, and offering, um, I'm building out something besides, besides what I talked about with my friend Katie, I'm launching into in 10, 10 days? Yeah, 10 days. I'm also working on something else which I'm bringing into the world, which is a different form of coaching that I've done for the last 10 years. I'm letting you know unofficially, <laughs> unofficially, that I may be hanging up my relationship-centric coaching shingle and offering something more about owning your life, running your life, really self-relationship coaching. Because that's really what my work's always been about anyway. But I'm taking off the pretend that I was doing relationship coaching. My strength is helping you love yourself, to own yourself, to recommend you, to respect yourself, and to honor yourself in your life. And so this topic I'm talking about today, which I'll get to, I will get to, <laughs> it's kind of a, a feeling that I've been noticing people go through. Now, some people out there making mass success in business but their relationships are tanking. Or their relationship's going really well, but they're not making any money. Or they're making money, but their relationship spirit is absent, ad- is inadequate, is, is void. And what recognizing is that we have this tendency sometimes in life to focus on one thing and make it happen and ignore the rest of our lives. And that, for me, is unfortunate. In fact, that, for me, sucks. So I wanted to speak to that in a little way, and it's, it's, it's part of me just getting my thoughts out into a new medium, which is not a medium medium, a recommended medium I've done for, <laughs> for three years called Facebook Live, but also to download some thoughts that maybe help you. One of the things I'm aware of that we deal with a lot in life is the reactions we have to things that happen around us. Hey Steve, nice to see you sir. Yeah, I think it's something you talk about too, so there might be an overlap. Um, life happens, I won't say to us, but around us, and we take the response to that, we react to that. And I was talking on the last Facebook Live I did about response versus reaction. And I'm recommending something that's going to go deeper than that, which is how do we handle life in a more, I don't want to say holistic, but a more, more ownership way. Excuse me, noisy truck's over there. It was vibrating the floor, it's so big, okay. So here's the thing I want to talk about. Life will throw us curveballs, as I mentioned. In fact, being like a pinball in a pinball machine rather than the player of the machine. And it sucks a lot of times because what we're feeling is that someone says something, does something, doesn't do something, doesn't say something, and we take reaction or take, um, we take upset, we take umbrage <laughs> with that. We feel out of sorts because we feel like somehow they should have done something different. Whether it's an employer, past relationship, family dynamics, spiritual teacher, bank account, IRS, whatever. We tend to find ourselves often at times where things are going great until something like this happens where Somebody, we get a letter from the IRS, or we get a call from an ex-partner, or we get a um, <laughs> let's say this, a less than polite response from a family member on a social media post happened to me, so I'm, I'm aware of that. And so my point I want to talk about is how to handle that, how to 
really stay present to who we are and love ourselves despite what happens because 90% of what happens out there isn't about us. Okay, that might be a, a wake-up call. Like, yeah, it is. True, it's true. Listen, say this again. Oftentimes what happens out there, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, um, <laughs> oftentimes what happens out there has nothing to do with us. We feel somehow responsible for something that we think someone else thinks about us, which is really messed up because that's a whole negative codependency trap, which I'll talk about another time. But what really we're talking to is how when you really own and honor who we are, when we really stop taking shit personally, yes, shit personally, and we start having a place where we choose to put ourselves first in our lives from a place of heart and love, not from a place of ego and reaction. That's where things start to shift dramatically in our relationships with everybody. Because when we're doing that, we come from a place of strength, of autonomy, and of self-respect so that whatever other people do has not so much no impact on us, but is filtered through the lens of does this really affect me or not? Versus I'm reacting and reacting and reacting, which people do. So what I've actually been creating is, is a list of, it may not become a questionnaire, we'll see, of certain areas of our lives where you may feel Well, reactive is the way I was going to use it, but really challenged by what's happening around us. And there's a trap we fall into. So what I wanted to speak to is how we can be more um, proactive versus reactive. So proactive versus reactive, where we can actually own and respect who we are and live in a place of truth. And my work nowadays is coming to more and more of that with my partner, my clients in relationship because it's never really about their partner. It's a reflection of themselves. But, and unfortunately, however, <laughs> oftentimes that reactivity is so ingrained we can't think any other way. So part of my work with my clients nowadays is helping them start to take a different perspective, a higher altitude, so to speak, to see what is really going on so they can then decide if they want to react or not because, frankly, if you're reacting, you're giving up your power. If you're reacting to what's happening around you, you're losing autonomy. And if you're giving up your power that way, life just gets away from you and you feel like a pinball. So this this nudge, this little talk I'm doing now, because I'm going to go and going to go go to the Mar Vista Art Walk, is to give you something to think about, to chew on today. And I'm going to leave it with like this. First of all, I put a link you want to remember to at the back end of this for my friend and mine, for Katie and myself. In, inspired Heart Mastery is coming up in November 17th. But also, if you want to reach out for me for personal support, send me a message. Or comment below, and I'll respond. There's more to this I want to talk about, but I'm not feeling it right now because there's probably some sort of distracted by the traffic and I also want to go to do this. But I wanted to do a Facebook Live, Glenn Dummer for a while, just to say hi and, and to talk about this. So if this resonates for you, let me know. If you want some extra help, let me know. If you have challenges by this, let me know. And if it doesn't make any sense to you, don't bother. <laughs> so with that, thank you for watching. I'll be back again another time. This is not my daily full Facebook Live because I stopped doing those after my thousands broadcast 10 days ago. This is something new and deeper and it's more ad hoc. So... Do you have any questions? Let's talk. I'll see you again soon. Have a wonderful day and uh, I'll catch you later. Bye.